All right, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. So right now, waiting on Flash. Oh, here it comes. You can see him. Isn't it? See, he loves going for rides in the buggy. Come on, pal. All right. <clears throat> so today, uh, as some of you guys have requested, we are going to do a farm tour. Flash just turned himself around. We're gonna do a farm tour. I'm gonna to show you guys both farms, uh, family farm, and then the one up the road. Uh, so yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy that, and let's get ready. So the first stop is the beef cows. These are the beef cows. Uh, this one right here. Where's my finger? That's Buster. He's been out here all winter long, but like I said, Red Bull's in the barn. Actually got water in the back for him right now. Uh, but yeah, these are the beef cows. I think that there's close to... I want to say it's either somewhere around 40 or somewhere around 50. Something like that. But yeah, these are the, these are the beef cows. They stay outside behind the barn. Uh, that right there is the room that they stay in. And then this farther one over, there's another opening on the other side that they can stay in. Uh, that right there up on the hill I don't know if you guys can see that uh, that is the farm we're going to next um, but not right yet I still got a couple more buildings I want to show you guys all right so next is our old old buildings which I actually put new tin on this first one here over the summer not the whole thing I think wait was it this one maybe not no, I think it was. No, it no, it was this one because I remember putting that that white thing there. It was this one I cut. I put a couple new sheets of tin on. But these are both quite old. Uh, this one is our old shop. That's where we sharpen blades. There's old tires in there and stuff. Uh, there is electric in there. You can see all the wires. This is the old horse barn. We actually keep the lawnmowers in here in the winter. And uh, the other side is the big generator that you hook up there. It'll power the barn and my grandfather's house. Uh, this is the old white garage. This is where I parked the buggy. And as you can see, this is where we have the 66, 6610. We also do our deer butcher in here, skinning them and stuff. But yeah, that's the... Uh, 16 or the sixth yeah 6610 yeah that's uh yeah so uh, it sits in here all winter long this tractor doesn't like to start it all in winter so it sits see how cold it is around here i know some of you guys on my live stream yesterday were asking how the weather was around here now there's how the weather is uh this right here is the garage where we keep our coyote in uh, this is winter kept or kept in here all winter and all summer. Uh, the coyote's only been left outside probably not even five times. We take good care of the coyote. It sits in here. You guys can see the inside of it. It's got a round bale on the front of it right now for my grandpa tomorrow morning. Yeah, you see this is the coyote. Yeah, you guys can see pretty good. Uh, we actually got the back blade on right now. Actually, let me get the. Got the. We got weights on both sides of this, and we put it on tires so it doesn't dig into the ground at all. This is uh, also where we keep the mixed feed. We get we got cornmeal in bin number one, which is one farther over. Um. I've never showed this in a video. There's my grandpa's old tempo that quit working. I haven't showed this in a video yet, but we got a new bush hog uh, back blade for the coyote. We used this when we got all that snow. Nice back blade. But yeah, that's uh, pretty nice. This is our rock right here. I'm not going to be able to, I got to go to the barn soon. But up here, these two buildings, uh, the one we have turkeys in and the other one we have chickens in. Um, we've had turkeys and chickens for most of my life. 
Uh, when we were farming, I think that we had a few chickens, but now we got, I think, 20 chickens. All I don't know because something keeps coming in and getting them. We got one turkey now and a bunch of guinea hens. <clears throat> we did have quite a few turkeys. We hatched quite a few in the incubator, but uh, they all died. Um, there's flash again. In here is the uh, old round baler. Or, well, not old, but the round baler just buying there's four wheeler there. Um, if you guys want to see inside that, let me know in the comments. I'm not going to go in there right now just because I got to go up eat dinner. All right, so I usually put bibs on whenever I'm doing this job because <clears throat> this is pretty, uh, pretty nasty job. So it's just overall easier. That and I know I obviously I got work pants on, but keeps them cleaner, helps them last longer. Just pull them right over my boots and everything. I uh, I had a Carhartt coat on, but it's probably at about 50 degrees in the barn, so it's not bad. Here's a pile of pull. Gonna feed Ron Bell quick and then I gotta scrape them down and then I'm gonna head up <coughs> and uh, show you guys those tractors and the one building. Alright, so unfortunately my uh, mount or my uh, tripod broke, so I don't know why. I still got my uh, head mount though, but I don't know if I'm gonna use that or not. But uh, hey, yeah, hear my music. Hopefully YouTube don't copyright that on video. Uh, I had a cow out, so I had to put her in. Uh, I gave everybody a little bit of haste, and they're quiet while I'm doing it. They're still a little noisy, but uh, I gave them all hay. I doubt you guys can see that because the lighting on this camera sucks. Um, so yeah, I'm going to scrape them all down. And like I said, we're going to go up to the sheds. All right. See ya. Uh, I might show a little bit of scrape, but I'm not sure. All right, see you guys in a sec. All right, so I got all the cows scraped down. I'm gonna go out and I'm gonna show you guys the, I think it's the 2094 and the yellow 1070 because we got two 1070s. So, yeah. All right, so I don't know if I have the uh, windbreak turned off on this camera, so you guys might hear a little bit of the wind. But uh, this is the one tractor. Yeah, this is the 2094. So this is uh, this tractor. This has got wheel weights on it. And then this is the uh, yellow 1070. This is our chore tractor. Uh, on the live stream yesterday, I showed you guys this tractor. Is it plugged in? I can't tell if it's plugged in or not. If it's plugged in, I could probably start it for you. Yeah, it is plugged in. I can start this tractor for you guys. <clears throat> All right, so uh, this is the inside of the 1070. You see all the uh, all the controls. This is. Uh, let me put my head. All right, so this is. Oh, what kind of transmission is this? I can't think of what... Let me think here. I can't think of what kind of uh, transmission this is. But, this is... So how it works is you have to you have to be completely stopped when you shift from 1, 2, 3, or 4, or reverse. And you do high and... Yeah, you do high and low. So, that's low. And then, let me see you back up. And then, that's high. And then, this is high reverse. And this is low reverse. And this is high, high one. And then high two. And then high, oh, you, see you gotta manually work it. And that's high three. High four never wants to go in. Yeah, I usually don't like to go in. 
unless uh, the tractor's on. All right, so to start this tractor, let me just make sure the parking brake's on. Let me turn the lights on on here. The, the light switch thing broke, so I got to use uh, needle nose pliers. I don't know if I will, but I got to fill the one TMR card up. So uh, that's how good the lights are. They kind of suck. All right, so on this tractor, I'm trying not to get the... Uh, all right, so here you got to push this in. This is for your fuel, so you push that in. And then you turn your key. I usually like to give it a little bit of throttle. It usually helps her start up. And then... guys so there's really nothing significant up in the other shops basically just the same thing there's uh, 966 the 1066 and the 1566 uh, if you guys want to see those let me know in the comments below I can do a video on them uh, I'm hoping that this is lower than 15 minutes and I don't have to use my computer to upload because it's always a pain it always takes longer with my computer um, but yeah I hope you guys enjoyed the video uh, let me know if you liked it. Please leave a like. If you haven't already, please subscribe. Uh, let me know in the comments below if there's anything you guys want to see or anything you guys want me to do for you. Um, yeah, let me know if you're subscribed. And in the next clip will be shout outs for some of the people that have subscribed and have YouTube channels themselves. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy that. I hope you enjoyed the video. And like I said, if you haven't already, please subscribe. And I'll catch you soon.